this is a, a male northern barred owl, probably an adult given his wild personality. Fractured carpus, fractured ulna, those have healed beautifully, but the problem is, is that uh, he's, a, he's a bit of a fruitcake, so he's, um, the chambers that he's been staying in are way above standard, so it's not like he was being kept in a, you know, in a garbage can. Um, and so the, some of the feathers have come off, and so what we're going to do is we're going to um, imp some feathers in from a bird that's dead. These are the donor feathers. And it's not really hard to do, but we all suck at it because you just don't do it very often. Um, and if for somebody that does do it often and they're good at it, that means that they practice really poor husbandry at home. Those are mostly falconers that don't know how to really treat their birds. So, okay, so we're going to put them under general anesthesia um, just to reduce stress on everybody so we can take our time because the, the, um, the issue is carving out the, um, now there's imping pins, there's carbon rods, there's a, a number of different things you can use, piano wire, broom straw from the plastic uh, vinyl brooms, but um, just uh, because we're running out of time and we need to get them out of here, we're just going to carve down some um, bamboo skewers and have lunch afterwards. And here's a great the great The intrepid crew. Uh, what clinic is this? This is Kohata Animal Clinic in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Woohoo! Alright. And if your whole little head will stick in there, that's great. Mm-hmm. It will. I can get a bigger one if need be. Nope. Does it? And then we'll and then we'll just um when he's down, then we'll flip him over and get him situated. Don't hold your breath. Who, me? We're starting off at the middle by clipping them off about an inch and a half from the body. That's where the shaft is the uh, most hollow and you've got the most uh, room to work with. These are so much, these are very small. Look at them though. Mm. Well, we might could ream them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. well, our first problem was um, the shaft, the holes in the shaft, the recipient shafts are really, really small. We've got a piece of parchment paper here now. She's getting ready to, to glue and insert into that hole. But um, we had to uh, really cut down these pieces of bamboo to try to kind of skewer out a hole in there. Because um, you have to have a recipient hole. Um, did that work okay? Yeah. This is why it's a good idea to knock them down with some isofluorine so you're not freaking out trying to do it quickly. Um, and then they're not uh, freaking out because of stress. And then you just want to make sure it's oriented right. The, these are, these, they're a little bit long. This is probably from a female um, barred owl, and we're working on a male with the females being bigger. So, um, you know, push comes to shove, we can, um, we can always just uh, uh, cut off the, his other feathers and, uh, and, and imp the rest of the females in there, and then he'll just have a gem and uh, train to work with. Okay, so we've got two in. We're just kind of progressing along. Like I say, if push comes to shove, we can always, depending on how the bird's doing and how we're doing on time, we can just cut those off when we get done and, uh, and imp those new ones in. And the trick is carving, taking this and then carving it down to this, it needs to be just the right size. Not too big, not too small. Right, Liz? Just exactly. like, just that's like, the most perfect one yet. Just like Goldilocks. See, so uh, watch one, do one, teach one. It's the Army way. Looks good. Okay, guys, this is the finished product. Can I wake him up? Yeah, go ahead and I'll just give him an oxygen. Okay, this is your last chance, dude. Is there a drain? Did they put a drain in? 
-hmm. Yep, we're done. Okay, he's on. Uh, we flipped him back over, so he's on his back. You can see they don't have diaphragm, but you can see the sternum moving up and down. That's how you know they're breathing. <laughs> Um, he's still really relaxed. You can tell by the feet. But um, so we're just giving him straight oxygen now, and just uh, waiting for him to come too. And then he's gonna have his dinner plate broken, and he's gonna go away tonight. I don't, we never found out. Just a real, real low red blood count, and I got the high vite and started shooting that to him fluids, force feeding. And after about ten days, he was just saying, well, "Geez, okay, well, she's gonna." stuffed me to death so he's he started eating again and it's like nothing ever happened I, and the day that I took got that one little wing hanging down and he just collapsed just collapsed <laughs> into my lap and I'm crying and it was like oh my god and I'm recording all of this so everybody knows <laughs> this is my old, my elderly owl that I had some trouble with in August okay he's awake now okay with a beautiful new tail they were gonna have Thanks one. to Dr. Karen and her Dr. entire Karen staff. And her intrepid staff. Yay. And where are we? Kohada Animal Clinic. Kohada Animal, Animal Clinic. Kohada Animal Clinic at Blue Ridge, Georgia. Tonight's his birthday. Yay. Yay.